Hi, this is Ernest from Back to Basics. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at doing lettuce in a hydroponic crack key setup. So uh, I've done lettuce before in a um, deep water culture setup, but that involved the use of pumps and air stones, and I'd like to be able to eliminate all of those uh, from my equation and uh, do things as simple as possible. So stay tuned for today's episode. Now I'm always using rock wool um, for starting these off. You uh, First thing you have to remember about rock wool, it's got a very alkaline base um, to it. So you need to soak these for a while before doing so. So I just have uh, some water here. I put a few drops of lemon juice in there just to make it a little more acidic. And uh, you just need to put this in here and let that soak for uh, Oh, I, I usually leave mine soak for about five minutes or so. Okay, this has been sitting for long enough. Now, when you're finished uh, soaking your rock wool, don't squeeze it out. Keep the amount of liquid that is in here. Uh, this will be enough to get your seeds started, okay? So, um, I usually put this into a small uh, Ziploc bag. Um, and you'll see why later to get things started. And now we just have to put some seed into this small hole. Lettuce seed is very small and uh, hard to pick up. So the easy way I found is to just use a toothpick and uh, just wet it and it'll stick nicely to it like so. And uh, drop it into the hole. Now I always do a couple of uh, seeds because I find uh, sometimes they don't always come up. So I'm going to put two of them in here. I might even put three. I'm going to put three of them in here. Once these have sprouted, um, the one that comes up the best and the strongest I will leave and the others I'll pull. I don't really want it to compete with more than one plant and uh, we only want one into this container anyway. So. Okay, so I've just sealed this off in this bag. This is just a lid that I use off from, a, from an old uh, detergent cap. And uh, we're going to now leave this under the lights um, for a couple weeks. I don't use a heating mat with lettuce because it's a, what's considered a cold crop so um, it doesn't like to have a mat under it. Okay, it's been now two weeks and you can see how how much the uh, lettuce has come up. And like I said, even though I planted three of them, you can see that one is actually quite large and the other two are not doing so good. So, like I said, plant three and pull out the weakest. and leave yourself with one. When do you know that you're ready to start putting this into the reservoir? Take a look at the bottom of your rock and when you see roots like this you know that uh, it's okay to start doing this. Now the container I'm going to use is just an old uh, peanut butter uh, jar. Uh, I like using these because they're they're fairly dark on the inside um, for my purposes. So all you need to do is drill yourself a hole in the top. Just gonna make sure you cut a hole that's big enough to accept a net pot. Now if you've never heard of crack key method before, it's quite simple. The, the, the theory behind it is, when you um, have your plant, you fill up your reservoir to, the, to touch the bottom of the net cup. Now your level of water will be right here. Now as the plant grows, it will start drawing up the nutrient from the container and as the nutrient level goes down the roots that are become exposed from the water going down it allows it to get the oxygen that it needs so as the water goes down it gets more oxygen along the way for my purposes I'm going to be using maxi grow 
uh, as my nutrients, which is a uh, 10, 5, 14. General Hydroponics suggests that you mix this in a ratio of one to two teaspoons per gallon, but uh, I've found that I get burning happening with it, so I use it at half of these strengths, so I'm going to be measuring out uh, half a teaspoon into this already pre-measured one gallon container. And I'll let this sit and stabilize uh, for a few minutes. Now I didn't fill this up all the way. I'm going to have to look and see whether it's touching the bottom of this net cup. Okay, let's take a look at how much is in here. Now you'll see that I just filled this container with enough nutrient to just start covering the bottom of the net cup. Um, you want it so that the rock wool can absorb the nutrient up, but you don't want to have it completely covering the rock wool, otherwise you'll drown out your plants. So place your cube into the holder like so. And now what we'll do is we will put some uh, clay pebbles around here which will help support this leaf up a bit and it'll also cut down on the algae uh, that could form on top of the rock wheel. So and that's all we need to do. Now this will uh, be placed under my lights and uh, we'll come back and show you the progress. Okay, so it's now been a week since I've uh, showed you the last video. And um, just so you can see, this uh, peanut butter container I did wrap with just a, an old uh, green garbage bag to keep the light out. Uh, you can see in one week this has really progressed quite nicely. And uh, let's just take a look at these roots. And you'll see what I mean by the Kratky method. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Beautiful white roots and uh, looking really good. Okay, it's now been a week and a half later since uh, the last um, portion I showed you. So we're looking at about uh, two and a half, three weeks since we've set up this into this peanut butter container. And I just wanted to show you how nicely the Kratky method works. Um, you know, there, this, you can't get any easier than this. Fill it up with nutrients, set it and forget it. Uh, no pumps involved. Um, the only electricity is the lights. So this is a really nice way to do that. Uh, it's already actually starting to reach up into my lights. I can't raise them any further. So we're going to start pruning some of these leaves off and eating them. And uh, I might move this uh, into my greenhouse soon. So before I, uh, I uh, end this video, let me just show you where we are uh, root-wise and uh, how much this um, has used over this uh, grow period to date. And you can see how nice the root structure is uh, for doing this Kratky method. You'll see how fine these, these uh, roots are, completely different from what you would see um, in a uh, soil-based uh, plant. So you can see here that I'm down to about uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch of uh, nutrient left in the bottom of this uh, peanut butter container. So this has lasted uh, whole, almost a month, uh, three and a half weeks. Um, I'm going to fill this up and I'm going to be uh, continue using this. But I think that we've uh, shown nicely where we are using the crack key method and how easy it is. So um, uh, thanks for joining me on this experiment. And um, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.